Hey, this is Ryan from Web Eminence with a three minute tip video on working with images in the new Gutenberg WordPress editor. So I did a video in 2013 on adding pictures to a WordPress page and it had about 60,000 views since 2013. Uh, since it's no longer valid uh, with the new WordPress editor that's been released, it's time for an update. So in this video, I'll show you how you can work with images in the new WordPress editor they call Gutenberg. So I'm here in the new WordPress editor, which uses blocks. So you can click on the plus icon to add a new block. And the most basic way to use images here is to click on image, which is gonna allow you to upload or use an image from the media library. So I'm gonna go ahead and add one from the media library. So once I click on the image or add it, there are some image settings on the right uh, that we're used to. Uh, you can also drag the image manually in the visual editor to change its size. You can also left, center, and right align the image. If you wanted to put an image in a column next to text, for example, you could add columns. Uh, that would be a column block and then actually drag an image down to one column and I can drag text down to the other column. And you can see it's a little awkward, but I didn't say I'm a fan of the Gutenberg WordPress editor, but I'm showing you how to use it because a lot of people are gonna have to use it. So I think it would fit there uh, when you previewed it or published it, but we can make the image smaller here by uh, fitting it to the size of that column. There's another way to add uh, the same kind of look and they call that media and text. So if I was to click media and text, add that block, looks like it added it to the column, but I wanna pull it out of there. So I can add an image here and then content on the right. So I went ahead and added an image and text. Let's go ahead and preview that and just see how it looks. So here's the first column uh, setup that I made and then the media plus text. So it's kind of the same idea done two different ways. So there's a couple other ways to work with images in the Word, the new WordPress editor. I can just click one of these plus icons here to add a new block and let's select a gallery. And if I choose a few images for a gallery, click create new gallery, insert gallery. It's gonna create this gallery. There's some settings I could again customize like the number of columns. But let's go ahead and preview that and just see how it looks by default. So all that really does is show the images uh, in columns, rows, uh, not too exciting. You might wanna check out my other video on creating galleries in WordPress to create some nicer galleries. So the last option I'll mention is a cover image. And if I add an image as a cover image, I believe that will just allow you to put text on top of the image. So it might work for like a featured image on a blog post or at the top of a page. So here's how that works. That's kind of a nice feature to easily create some feature images or um, you know headers with background images easily using the new editor. So those are some quick tips on working with images in the new WordPress Gutenberg editor. Check out some of my other videos on working with images within WordPress. Uh, we'll see you on the next video.